Alrighty, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another NHL 18 GM video today. And sadly, it's not the Vegas Golden Knights. I think I'm going to be taking a different route with the new GM mode series. I'm not going to talk about why there hasn't been a lot of uploads recently. I will make another video on that um, hopefully soon. I don't know. But today, guys, I'm going to be discussing the best way to grow your players or your prospects in uh, NHL 18 GM mode. And now I've grown some players uh, fairly low. So let's take a look at the Vegas Golden Knights here. This is just an offline one I do for fun. Elias Peterson. I drafted him um, 2017. So I drafted him when I redid the expansion draft. Because you got to get that trophy to um, win the Stanley Cup with them. And he's grown pretty well in two years. I mean, I mean, look at his year in the H. Only 36 points and 76 points. And then a rookie last year. So had a good season, of course. But, um... He's grown really well in those two years, and it's worked out for him good, which is also nice. And then um, another player here, Alex Debrincat, same thing in the NHL, AHL, excuse me, puts up a ton of points. Um, any other players I can use, for example, uh, that are currently on this team? I don't think so. Um, oh yeah, well, um, wait, why is it? Okay, Nico Teeman, and yes, so I, t I traded for this guy from the Nashville Predators, 119th overall. Well, we didn't really have much trade value. Played him down the AHL, puts up 61 points, and now is on the NHL roster. It's great. Rasmus Dallin really hasn't grown for us at all. It's not looking good for him, which kind of sucks. But that's not the main focus of today. But I'm t here, I'm going to explain how you can really grow these players, these elites at least. I don't know about top sixes, top nines, but the elites to grow highly well. And... I mean, maybe some of you guys already know this. Maybe some of you guys are looking for a way to um, grow your players a bit better. Now, look at this AHL team. It's it's stacked. I mean, yeah, the 58, 58 overall on the third line, but it is stacked. So, yeah, we have uh, three elite defensemen here, which may not grow well. And, see, I'm, putting, I'm playing two 50s together, so they're not going to put up a ton of points. That's why Mayfield is up here with this guy. So maybe he can help um, Timo Valen grow a bit more. And this is how it's um, worked. For example, um, Rod Booz <laughs> drafted him fifth overall in 2019. He had 41 points last year playing on the fourth line. I just got two decent guys with him. He's gotten going. So he's another forward right now. I'm going to plan on moving him up. And I mean, I'm hoping the same thing's going to happen here with Ivan Kasparitis as I traded for him from the Bruins. Hopefully he can be something for us. Owen Tippett's not a good example because like maybe the top six hasn't really helped him. Didn't have a bad year last year, but maybe it's because I didn't sign him in the first year of his uh, rookie deal and then he lost a, a year of growth right there. But we're going to sim throughout this year and see how those two players, um, how Booze and um, we'll, we'll do uh, ba Dawes here and, and Dawes grow and see how they perform. And maybe we'll check on Tippett too a little bit, but... I'm telling you, man, you can really grow those prospects with um, with um, stacking up your AHL team. So let's get to the end of the season now. Alrighty, here we are at the All-Star break. Thought I'd have like a halfway point to see um, how the growth is doing. The Wolves are in first place down here. That's our AHL affiliate. And that is where our prospects are playing. But let's see how the young stars are, or young hopeful stars are coming. So Tippett has grown. Only one, but he's pr putting up some points, which isn't bad. Booze is up to a 75. Maybe now he's a minor scoring forward. Maybe we, if we give him some more ice time, he can grow a bit more. Casperitis up to a 63. Not bad. Um, Dawes hasn't really grown well. Nor Vickers, nor Valen. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we'll um, move up. What's his face? We'll move up Booze. <laughs> Because he's a minor scoring four now, and I want to try to give him as much fair ice time as possible. So what center is producing the least? Um, yeah, I think we'll move him up. Two lines playing with. Dave, uh, we got to move up somebody. Somebody who's scoring goals. Uh, let's see here. Anybody scoring goals down here? Nobody? Who's scoring goals up here? I guess we'll put Spencer Watson up there with them just so we can have a sniper. And have a two-way four just to help him out defensively. So that's the plan for now. We'll see how Booze does. Alrighty, here we are at the end of the season now. The Vegas Golden Knights had 101 points, second in the division. Pretty good season for them, but that's not the focus for today. So let's go over here. The Chicago Wolves finished with 102 points, first in their division. That's a uh, very good. See, I'm telling you, you just you just stack the team up the best you can. 
with players that want two-way deals, you can really make a good team. So Spencer Watson and Booze really jumped in point totals. We're going to see how um how he grows next year too because there's that bit of that off-season growth. So Booze had a very good year, 50 points. Um, nine more points than he did last year. So that's very good. Tippett had a good season with 49. Doesn't seem like he's going to be a good player though. It's just not not very good for a 13th overall pick. You know, but that's okay. Casperitis up to a 65. Slowly but surely growing. But um, Dawes up to a 60. Vickers and Valen still at a 58. So you can kind of tell who doesn't grow if they don't, if you don't put them with um, good players, of course. So yeah, I mean, Booze went from what, a 73 at the beginning of the year to 75. So that's pretty good. Let's see how he does going into next season. So we're up here on the day of the NHL entry draft, and he has gone up to a 76 now with a fourth line roll, so he's ready to come to the NHL. So maybe the offseason growth will make him go to an 80. We'll find out in a moment, though. Alrighty, here we are up to next season. One year ago, Boss was at 73, and now he's at 79 overall. He went up six in a year. He's ready for the NHL is, is, is what the game is telling me. And boy, oh boy, this guy is going to be something special for my team. Rod Booze can do it all, basically. Can play defense, hit, skate, shoot, dangle. Has good senses, too. So that really shows you that this year, they really want you to develop your players. And that's what I like because I could remember NHL uh, 15, 16, and 17. All you had to do was leave them unsigned for three years, wait till they jump to, like, 82, sign them. And then they are off and going. So that didn't really feel like developing your players. This this really does. you got to build a good team around them. And that's what you should do with your elite or franchise players, in my opinion. Build around them. That's how you make a team. And that's very cool. So I give props to EA for that one. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's basically it for today. I mean, comment down below if you want me to find out uh, any, more, any more little tricks in the system of uh, NHL 18 GM mode. Or if you just got a simple question, I'll answer it. So yeah guys, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more content like this every now and then I guess, and I'll see you guys in the next one.